bruh, I'm going to do right because I know that I'm not going to be doing any extra cooking other than dealing with the birthday stuff this weekend. But Walmart got to see me about this kitchen table. It's all about the aesthetic girls these days. So us girls just looking for color. We just struggling out here. Because y'all know most people don't get off work till five o'clock. So why would you not have nobody in your bakery department between the hours of five and seven? That's, that's ignorant. No, they're ignorant. That's ignorant. right here on the side um i about to um get this head together within the next 24 hours but i wanted to go ahead and start the vlog here because we're actually headed to target we're headed to target and walmart because it's time to do baby brooke's birthday party and um we're doing this kind of different even though it's his first birthday um which his birthday was actually a week ago but um we're just now getting to celebrate it okay we're just now getting to celebrate it this weekend because um for one his sisters um they only come to stay with their dad every other weekend and we really wanted them to be a part of his birthday party so um we had to wait on the week that it was time for them to come to their dad's house and then the other reason is his big brother it was his birthday on wednesday so um yeah we're just gonna kill two birds with one stone since my 20 year old he doesn't want gifts y'all know he don't want nothing but some money so i'm gonna take care of that get him some little cake and his gifts going on and then let baby brooks open all his little gifts baby brooks is definitely a kid's kid like he loves all the little shapes and colors and he is really into books y'all i'm excited about that i'm excited that he's excited about books because um my other two children were not but i blame that on me i didn't introduce them to books until they were already in preschool so i know some people will probably be like well girl that's early enough but it wasn't early enough for it to hold their interest so um hopefully by starting baby brooks out with books at such a young age it'll be something that he's just accustomed to and that he will take a natural liking to as he gets older i'm hoping that that's what that means because he loves books at this age so yeah at target we are going to get the birthday gift that i want to get him I don't know the name of it, so that's another reason that I'm taking y'all. So I want to get his birthday gift um, and some towels, or maybe just a towel, depending on how much they cost. It's a brand of towel that I have at home, and it's called Threshold. And I looked up where did I get that towel from, and it says that that brand came out of Target. So I'm going to go in their bath section and see if the threshold towels are still there because, y'all, that towel is so big and thick and just, oh, it's the right material. Like, my towel got to be a certain material for me to just really mess with it. So, y'all, when I tell you I be wearing this blue towel out, I wears it out, baby. Like, it's me and the blue towel. So, I'm going to at least grab one more. Depending on how much they cost, I may grab two. 
and I, I can't decide if I wanted to do the little Sam's cupcakes or um, if I want to do an actual birthday cake but I think what I want to do is an actual birthday cake because um, first of all it's his first birthday so he has to have a smash cake but if I can find somebody or maybe we could just get up early and get the people at the bakery to put the name on there. I know it's not going to be anybody there now. I don't understand that. I feel like the Walmart bakery should be open at least till 7 o'clock to have like, you know, cases like mine. Like you should at least, because y'all know most people don't get off work till 5 o'clock. So why would you not have nobody in your bakery department between the hours of 5 and 7? That's, that's ignorant. No, they're ignorant. That's ignorant. I feel like that's ignorant. <sighs> anyway, I may have to do the cake in the morning if, if can't nobody service me when we get up here. But anyway, I would like to get a cake and I need to get a barbecue grill. Y'all, for whatever reason, <laughs> the cover flew off my barbecue grill months ago like months ago when it was cold outside my 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 cover blew off the grill then somebody took the top off the grill it had to be hold on y'all all right sorry about that it had to be my son took the doggone top off the grill um so had that going and like everything has just went downhill from there with that grill so anyway that is me opening up the vlog and welcome to the weekend baby welcome to the weekend baby um if you see anything in this video that you like please don't hesitate to hit the like button if you see anything about your girl p hope that you just so happen to like please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you. Um, please don't hesitate to comment down below. This just helps me ever so much. And, um, you know, hopefully it, it, it won't hurt you to do so. But, you know, if you do it out the kindness of your heart, y'all know that is actually, um, I feel like when y'all do stuff like liking a video, subscribing to the channel, commenting down below that's that is that is blessing me that is considered a blessing whether you know it or not and um that is sowing a seed into me that really didn't cost you anything but an act of kindness that's exactly what that is so you know if you don't know if you're gonna be able to to you know do any other acts of kindness for the day then just go on and do me this. Just go on and hit that like button and just leave a little comment down below and let God do his thing from there. You know, that's all you that's all you gotta do. Anyway, let's move along. Alright, y'all. Um, I did make it up into the Target and I found the threshold towels, but and this is the style that I'm wanting, but I don't see any colors that's just really like touching my soul. But for me, it ain't really about the color because I don't put towels in my bathroom anyway. Um, I just like this feel and this, um, y'all don't pay no attention to my ashy hand, please and thank you. Um, but I just like the material of these towels and I like how big they are. I like the size and how they feel. But now I did see they have another brand over here called uh, Casa Luna. And Casa Luna got green. Where is it? Casa Luna. Oh, no. That wasn't Casa Luna that had green. That was um, the other. Y'all see it right there? It's by that. Uh, what is that? What is that called? Room something. What does it say? Room Essentials. So, you know, that's the little brand that they use for the college students and all that. So, 
Anyway, over here in the grown folks section, they got Casa Luna and Threshold. So, but in the grown folks session, they don't really have no colors that's really just speaking to me. And y'all know that's because everything these days is so aesthetically pleasing and all the grills like these neutral colors, the beiges, the tans, the mauves. Yeah, you know, everything is all about, and you got gray and white and off-white down there on the end. <sighs> yeah. It's all about the aesthetic girls these days. So, us girls just looking for color. We just struggling out here. But anyway, I think I'm just going to go with this little mauve one and call it a day. I'm going to make sure that it's the correct size. Let's open her up because that'll be, it, it, it's a color that I don't have, but it just really ain't. Yeah, this the right size. It's the right size. <sighs> Y'all, I'm not excited about it. It's 14 bucks. But like I said, I'm not excited about any of these colors. Um now they do have a bigger one up here. They have the bigger ones. Let's see what colors they have in the big the $22 ones. <sighs> Let's see. We got like a 10. Y'all, if I say some of these colors wrong don't blame me and don't blame my eyeballs because i have been um told that i'm colorblind but anyway i got white blue this is a color that i already have at home that's the one that's already at home so i could get navy blue i know mean, i could do that i could get navy blue i don't like white towels because sometimes i be putting on lotions and stuff that stain it so uh, -uh. they got gray and then they got like a charcoal gray, uh, a darker gray. But that's all they really got in the threshold. What brand is this over here? Oh, uh, these towels, $9. They probably ain't bigger than a minute. Uh, oh, this is threshold as well. Performance plus bath towels. Uh-oh, uh y'all. <laughs> I don't see green door. That ain't green, is it? So why is these nine dollars? They say bath towel and a washcloth for nine dollars. Bitch, weird. So let's see how big the green one is, y'all. If I get a green bath towel, do y'all know how happy I'm about to be? They do. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. The quality of this feels like a step down from the one that I have at home. But it's green. Now this one, I don't know what the difference is between the Total Fresh and the Performance Plus, but the Total Fresh feels like the material that I'm looking for. I wonder what the difference is. And I actually like the color of this one. You know what? I feel like today is a day to do what you love. So I'm just going to grab this one. I'm gonna do it. Yes, I am in Target looking crazy. But I just wanna compare the sizes of these two towels. The purple to the, hold on, hold up. They don't love you like I love you. Okay, so the purple, is a smidgen longer it's a smidgen longer so now it boils down to am i willing to be okay with that little gap with the with that length difference and considering one is green and one is not the answer is yes so i'm going to fold miss ma back up and put her back on the shelf. Um, now I'm just gonna move on to find that toy that I'm looking for because if I stay in Target, I'm definitely going to pick up way more than I came in here for. And I don't wanna do that because I know I'm gonna pick up way more than I'm going in for at Walmart. So if I'm gonna overspend somewhere, it's definitely gonna be Walmart and not Target. All right, so 
this is what I came in here for. So they're called magnetiles. Now the question is, which one do I want to get him? Because I see they got two different kinds. The one at the bottom is 129 and then the one right on top of it with 74 pieces is 99. Um, I mean, of course, he's only one years old, so he's not really going to know how to create like a castle or nothing like that. You could. Um, but I don't know. Should I just go ahead and get the 110 or should I just start with the 74? Does, I don't know which one makes sense. Now they also have a 40 piece right here that comes with a, um, it's like a little racetrack. Now he does love um, cars and things like that. So that could be a good option. And they also have like little dinosaurs and stuff. But what I think I'm gonna do, what I think I'm gonna do, because I actually saw him playing with this particular set so I'm gonna get him I think I'm gonna go with the one for 129 and then maybe if he does show a real interest in it what I can do is continue to add on so for Christmas I can just add on by getting him like the uh, the little racetrack and stuff like that and the dinosaurs they got a farmhouse they got a forest they got a safari they got arctic animals. They had a bunch of little, oh yeah, y'all good. Come on, Jerry. They got a bunch of little stuff. They got origami look like. So I'm just gonna go ahead with the one for 129 and then um, let him build from there. Hi, y'all. Let's grab that and get on out of here. Y'all, this little stuff heavy too. It got a nerve to be heavy. Mm. About Christmas time. So while I'm passing through the toy section, like they got all kinds of little stuff for girls. Y'all know I got a baby boy, so none of this is doing me no good because I don't know any little girls. But um, yeah. It, it would be very wise to start picking up little small Christmas stuff now. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I can be showing y'all my card number, so y'all gotta go, boy. We starting now our shopping ventures. We shopping bad. We shopping bad. I be doggone. Nothing is cheap these days. Nothing is cheap these days. Well, I'm gonna try real hard not to pick up anything that is not on my list to pick up in Walmart because we definitely overspent in Target. We overspent in the Target. You know? <sighs> Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've made it. I have arrived to Walmart aka the wild wild west i made me a short um grocery list so 
We'll see if I stick to it. Now, 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 it wasn't even two seconds ago that I told y'all I was gonna stay on track. And I walk in here and Walmart sells some kind of brand called Kitchen Table. Lord have mercy, Jesus. I'm looking at this thing right here, the stir fry, and it says it has white rice with celery, carrots, broccoli, red pepper sauce, topped with crispy wonton strips. Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I make this? Bruh. I'm going to do right because I know that I'm not going to be doing any extra cooking other than dealing with the birthday stuff this weekend. But Walmart got to see me about this kitchen table. Of course, everything looks shitty over here. Of course. This is not really what you call a smash cake. This is like one step bigger than a smash cake. And it's like got pink and all these sprinkles on it. Oh, Lord. Y'all. I know it's nobody's fault but mine for waiting until the last minute. But it's got to be something better than this. So I'm gonna either have to get up and go to Sam's in the morning. And, and see, I can already tell this is that whip kind of icing. Oh no, oh no, it'll never do. They got Halloween, well fall rather. They got fall cupcakes. What kind is these down here? Hot wheels. No. No, and no. They got Bluey. Now he's cute. But for Bluey, I would need them to write his name on it. Bluey is cute, actually. But watch, watch, I can't get nobody to write his name on it. Well, don't know if you could tell or not. But the sun has gone down. So now, I'm just watching this truck here. It's a truck trying to get out. Y'all, Walmart is the wild, wild west for real. I don't care what time of day you go to Walmart. I don't care what day you go to Walmart. If you pull up at a Walmart, you're going to see something crazy. You're guaranteed to see something crazy. But anyway, I spent about an hour in there maybe. And um, I also spent another $211. And I still need to go to the bank and get the birthday money out. And I need to go to Kroger's to uh, find a smash cake. But i'm gonna just try to do that in the morning because at this point i have to pee again i've had a lot of um natural cranberry juice i think i showed y'all my cranberry juice in the last um mini fridge haul that i did and um yeah the cranberry juice has caught up to me so i'm pissy thank you guys so, so much for tuning i'm in just to gonna go video. to the bank because that doesn't require it. me you to get out of the car know. I want you to be happy, be healthy, be safe. And then, this is your girl, P-Hope, and I will you. catch you. I'm going to get me something to eat while I'm down on this end as well. And um, get on home and call it a night.